This is the Charlotte, North Carolina Micro Center, the largest micro center yet to be built and the newest as well. A lot of folks in the area are super excited. They finally have one of these stores around. And this is the build your own section. So if you wanna build a custom computer yourself or at least buy the parts for one, this is your one-stop shop. And it's filled with great employees like Justin. <laughs> now we have shown you the CPU section many times. This is more CPUs in one area than I think I've ever seen before. But I do wanna mention once again that if you are a new Micro Center customer, Customer, you can save $25 off the purchase of a CP, whether it be from AMD or Intel behind me. Three aisles of cases isn't too bad either. This is probably more cases in a micro center than I think I have ever seen, including so much that is behind the camera. There are a lot of deals to be had, so be sure to check out relevant links below. If you are a Charlotte local, there are special deals running for this store only that you can check out as well. But who am I kidding? It's time for the wheel. Stay with me. If you're planning your next PC build, then consider checking out our sponsor, VIP SCD Key. Their Windows 10 and 11 OEM keys sell for a fraction of retail and will unlock the full potential of your OS. They'll also remove those pesky activation watermarks. Click the links below to get started today and be sure to use our special offer code SKGS for a sweet discount on a variety of options, including Windows 10 and 11, Pro and Home, and more. Oh, here he is now. Hi, Sean, right? Yeah. Hey, how you doing, man? Doing good. This is uh, actually a pretty nostalgic system, I have to say. Yeah, it is. looks really good. Actually, I love the way it looks. Nice black and white color scheme you got going on here. I recognize this uh, Asus Tough Board. Yes, that Beautiful. is an old school throwback to almost kind of a brilliance you did a few, like a bunch of years ago. So you got the white uh, tower cooler as well. This graphics card, it's a little newer. Yeah, it, I had enough of my own old RX 480 four gig, and the fact is, I kind of wanted to kind of switch sides a bit. It's an RTX 3060? Yeah, it's 3060 12 gig. Core i7 6700K? Yeah. So Z170? Yes. Okay, and then uh, what, 16 gigs of RAM in there, or is it Actually, 32? it's 32 because um, I couldn't find any Corsair ballistics that matched. Mess, that yeah, matched. That like, they were gone. That's why we have two different kits in there. What about power supply? Power supply is a Seasonic 620 80 plus bronze unit. Okay, that's going to be cutting it a little close, close. depending on the budget and yeah. the upgrades that we're after. All right, speaking of, let's figure out what that budget's gonna be. So here she is, a physical wheel this time around. Sean, you are the last contestant of this uh, season. I don't know if we're gonna be publishing in this order. I think we will be. Okay. So you're the sixth guy, and so far nobody has hit above 900 USD. So this is a big deal. Red is dead. Let's do this. Nice spin. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, big money. I think this no one's gonna whammy, be no big. Let's go, let's go. Something big, something big. Okay, okay, 900 bucks. Yes. That's a lot of money. It's yeah. not the highest, but with 900 bucks, we can do so much here at Micro Center. Yes. So much. Anywhere you wanna start. Definitely, platform. My man. So, what we've got here are bundles with AMD ranging from 330 bucks up to, I would say comfortably, maybe 479. I don't know if I would go as high as 579. No. Uh, if you were thinking Team Red, these are pretty solid. These are all DDR5 based, which will, you know, if you want that for future proofness, you could go that route. Yeah. Now, if you wanted Intel, the big one that a few folks have already chosen is the i5-12600KF hmm. uh, bundle with 16 gigs of DDR4, MSI Z790 motherboard, nothing wrong with it, 250. Oh. Uh, and uh, a 12900K Core i9 for 399. Ah. So depending on how you're leaning, Intel versus AMD, that These are core, a good place to start. Yeah, that Core i9 sounds like a really good... You like the Core i9? I, I really like the way that's going. And that'll still leave us with more than half of your budget remaining for other stuff. Okay. Maybe we can work a graphics card into this. I won't get your hopes up. <laughs> it's possible, though. We're in the best place to do it. Alrighty, here she is. So we got, actually, this is Ripjaws. Yeah, this is G-Skill. Yeah. yeah, Ripjaws 5. That's sweet. And we got our Z790 uh, Prime motherboard and your beautiful Core i9 12900K. Where do we go from here? You've still got $500 remaining. I feel if I go graphic card, it's gonna take up the rest of the budget, so I'm not gonna go that route. I'll okay. keep my 3060. Okay. But power supply is next because that's more important. All right, nice. So let's go to the power supply aisles. There's like two aisles. Oh, really? I know. There's a lot here. I think you can find 850 watts for as low as 100 bucks. Uh, in particular, Micro Center's own in-house brand. Um, I think Power, power Spec, Spec, I think. Yeah. Power Spec. Still comes with a decent warranty if you're comfortable with that. That'll yeah. probably save you some. Corsair is also an option. There's like an entire aisle dedicated just to their units. Now some others down the line, like NZXT makes good stuff. 83, this is an 850 watt. What? Wow. 850 watt, 8396, this is an open box? 
I can't believe this store is open box already. This is a new we, store. This is definitely a get. I, awesome. You don't see this often. I think that's a good. That's buy. a good one. So we've uh, magically wandered into the case section. I guess we should look here next. Yeah, might as this well. This is on the agenda. Okay, yeah, they've got uh, a whole section of the store here. It's just cases. It now, do you want to spend a hundred bucks on a case? Do you have like a preference, for, like a dual chamber versus like a traditional mid tower? I kind of like the full. I kind of like the dual chambers. Now dual chambers. Yeah. Okay, so like a Lee and Leo Eleven Dynamic or mm -hmm. Evo. Uh, Height has some cool cases like the Y60. Yeah. A few moments later. Oh yeah, Lee and Lee. Yeah. That's ninety bucks. The two hundred six. Pretty sweet option. I think it's gonna be the Lee and Lee. It's Lee and gonna, Lee? It's gonna be the Lee and Lee. Lee and Lee. All right, let's do it. Do you like air coolers or water coolers? Um, I've always kind of preferenced air coolers. <laughs> I 100% agree with you on that one, Sean. Mm, yeah. I want to see someone building that ice giant over there. That's a monster. <laughs> that, that. You won't do it? No, I'm not. <laughs> I can't, come on. I have my limits. <laughs> Another question is then, knock or be quiet? Good question. An HD15 is a tried and true one. So is the Dark Rock Pro 5. This one's been out a little longer. Probably gonna cost you a little more. Mm -hmm. I do know that the Dark Rock Pro 5 has been price matched as of today for $79.90. Done. It's actually 20 Sold. bucks cheaper. That's it. All right, here she is. It says 99 bucks, really 79.90. So that leaves us with about 250 ish dollars left. Definitely storage. Storage. Storage is one is a key for me. Okay. So okay, how much are you looking for? Um, I'm looking towards two to four terabytes. Oh, okay. Eventually. In NVMe. Yeah. And out she comes, two terabyte Gen 4. Yes. Very nice. But the AM4 to the, the AM5 stuff, yeah, definitely switch at that point. Yeah. Uh, Once you consider there, that. There's $80 right there. So that's, uh, yeah, so that's what, 480 for that bundle? Yeah. Yeah. Instead of 399 that he spent on this. So better game yeah. performance, like up to date, relevant platform, yeah. latest that will be, CPU for gaming. That would be good. The best. Yeah. Okay. And that will put you pretty close. I think you might have room still for like cable extensions or something if you really wanted. Yeah. We'll have to do the math, but I think you'll be awfully close if we did that. Okay. Okay. So swap the bundle then? Yeah. We'll swap the bundle. Okay. So we are uh, calling an audible here. We are switching to AM5 for the 7800X 3D. Look at that. There's the whole kit. Oh yeah. Nice. You could sell some Expo DDR5 now too. So it's uh, better suited for AM5. Cool. Which is great. Two sticks, which is also great for great. AM5. And uh, yeah, pretty much. The undisputed champion of gaming. So we are at 874. Oh, okay. You can be plus or minus five. Okay. So if we find a set of custom cable extensions for 30 bucks or less, maybe we go that route. I'll tell you what, if you go with this, we might have a blue fan for you for an exhaust. Seriously gonna do this? I'm doing this. Yo. I'm doing right. it. So Dalton, who works here, found a very old blue Corsair fan that's not in the system any longer. And uh, he just told me if we could find a use for it. We could throw it into a build. We just found a use for it. Sweet. Easy parts done. Now yeah. we just need to convince Micro Center that all this is free. Yeah. All right, wish us luck. Here we go then, POV cam. Sean's got his uh, basket of goodies back there. Hey, uh, Sean, we're using your credit card, right? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, uh, wait, you're not paying for this? No. So we've got a total here. We're not counting tax. That's why the number's higher than normal. But we've got this fan. We want to see what happens when he rings it up here, this whole system's gonna explode. Wait, is it actually? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> so basically this ended up in like back stock and it, uh, just, yeah, it's not in the system anymore. So Dalton gave it to us. He's like, hey, bring this to the register and see if you can scan it. Bro, come on now. <laughs> we get it for free, right? Oh, yeah. I know. Sweet. 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 Here we go. This is his old system. Just want to rehash this. What we're going to be taking out of here, since we pretty much have a new system in that card over there, yep. is the graphics card and the storage drive. Everything else can stay. You could actually repurpose yep. this. And a white motherboard at that. Can we please get white motherboards Close. again? Please. We, we beg of you. Anybody out there. And out comes the graphics card. All right, and here is our platform. We just need to assemble it. Yeah, get your hands dirty if you can. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. I'm not sure why we're doing DDR5 first. first. I, I know, this is kind of a weird order, but <laughs> yeah. it's fine. It won't hurt. It's my fault. Yeah, it's one of the scariest parts where you're like, oh no, wait a yeah, minute. There you go, just like there that. Go. Just make sure the other side looks good. Oh yeah, yeah. you know what you're doing. There you go. And now I'm going to give you your 7800X 3D if you want to 
grab that ship, and you should be able to drop it in just like that with the text facing upright. Respect triangle. The there you go, yep, triangle. Nice, go ahead and you can do the rest, you know what you're doing. There we go, it's our two terabyte Gen 4 Inland brand NVMe. So we're gonna install that right here. And then we're gonna pull this uh, little peel back and slide this here. Gonna remove these uh, retention brackets for your cooler. And now just tightening things back down. Two Phillips screws on this side and two up north. Yeah, probably a yeah, little on the heavy side. side. That's all yeah. right. You'll get annihilated in the comments. We'll be all right though. Oh yeah, look at that sweet, sweet peel. Lovely cold plate. All right, and it's actually pretty clutch. We have low profile DDR5 with this. And goes the middle fan with its bracket. Just like so. Raymond's asking whose screwdriver this was. This is Sean's. This is hardcore. Oh, oh. Linus is going to be a little jelly. I know. This feels so good. Mm. Nice. And in goes the platform. Sean's taking care of it. Now we're just going to tighten things down one Phillips screw at a time. Here we go. So platform is in. HD audio there. USB 3 is going in on the side on this board. For this old school goodness that, here. That there is an unopened, must be like eight to ten years old. Yeah. These have like single LEDs, so there's four of them in this fan, and they're just supposed to diffuse over like a semi-clear fin array. And after mounting that at the rear and wiring it up, it's time to move on to the power supply. I'm going to show him, I can see Sean's already gotten this out, and it is a lovely modular design. We've used these plenty of times before. And while Sean's taking care of that power supply on all of its wiring, we're going to get this SSD from his old system mounted. Am I doing this right? And then one Phillips screw to hold it all in place. And don't want to forget SATA data cable. There she goes, C850. We found a great deal on this thing. I'm so glad. That's what made the budget work. <laughs> Finishing up some cable management, a couple more fans to wire. 24 pin, gonna tie that in line with the other front IO wires. You know what, we just realized, actually Raymond just realized it, we forgot these. So, I'm gonna undo the cable management I was just doing to, uh, we to work these in. We gotta work the blue cables in, we got the blue yeah. fan. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what ties it all together, yeah. so. We're just too focused. This looks a lot better. I have not built a white, black, and blue rig before, from what I recall. This looks so cool. And Sean's gonna drop the card down. Uh, you don't look aligned on this side. I wouldn't yep. push hard unless you know yep. for sure that is in the slot. Yeah, just a little apprehensions from the previous episode, sorry. And there goes the eight pin supplemental PCI power cable. Right side panel going on. All right. And here she is, Sean. I think uh, I think we're finished. I think we, I think it's absolutely nice, man. This is... Think it looks good? Yeah, absolutely. You drove four hours yes. to be here? Yes. From where? You mind me asking? Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. Oh my God. Was it just to meet me? Yes. Yeah. That is, <laughs> I, I, I cannot thank you enough for your support. And as a sort of way to make it up for you, I have five $50 gift cards here. Thank it's the last five that I have. Oh, so, uh, so have fun, spend some money in store if you can. I like um, the yeah, sure, please. of course. Yeah, not a problem. We'll, we'll take it in front of the build your PC section. Sure. How about that? Does that work? Cool. And what's your name? Andrew. Andrew. Andrew, again, I really appreciate you driving out here, man. That's 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 very nice of you. This is it. Oh uh, boy. Power at the rear first. Don't forget that. Yeah. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> See. <Even shot. laughs> See the look on his face. No, you're good. There you go. And then power up front. Let's hope it works. Nice. Hey. So this is uh, freaking out that you've got a new CPU and everything, basically a new platform attached to your old boot drive. Mm -hmm. Now, I always recommend this just to be on the safe side. Uh, take your important files, back them up on a separate drive, maybe back them up online as well just to be safe, and then start with a fresh copy of Windows. You know, considering you've got like pretty much all black components in here in a white case, I, I'm, I'm impressed. I thought it'd be a total turnoff, but it turns out it's actually quite good. And I know you had a white case before this, yeah. right? So I, I yeah. figured that was something else you wanted to replicate here, yeah. like a more modern look. Uh, and this uh, 206 is a fantastic case from Lee and Lee. Great airflow. I, I can't hear fans I'm, at all. We haven't even tweaked the fan curves yet. Not and a thing. And those things are like dead silent. It, it's not a thing. <laughs> they're so large too on top of that. Yeah. Of course you gotta be quiet, cooler. This thing is, uh, this is a- It is so- It's a, it's a it's megalith. A it's it is a, a it's really a is. It really is. It's huge. 
but uh, it, it looks great, and those blue cables really tie it all in. Really glad we found a, I found a use for that Corsair yeah, band as well. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. It ties in perfectly. Nice bonus, yeah. I, dude, you said blue, and I'm like, did somebody say blue? There's our cue. We're going to use this fan. Is there anything in this rig that you think you might want to upgrade in the future? Like, now obviously, your platform, your CPU, those are pretty much done deal. Yeah, I'm set. Like, maybe... Maybe down the line, the graphics card. When SSD prices finally drop, maybe that. Okay. Maybe that. Like another SSD. SSD. And probably get maybe about four terabytes finally. So. Okay. Okay. That would work. Obviously, the next thing would be a graphics card. Well, this looks really good. I think you did a heck of a job for that $900 budget. And I'm excited to uh, maybe hear from you if you want to text me after this when you get it gaming and stuff. Yeah. I know what you think. The CPU is going to be just a night and day difference. It's going to be amazing. Over what you started with. Well, we've uh, gotten you into a very interesting filming position here. We've yeah. got some chairs that match your build, build. and uh, we're ready to send you on your way. I, uh, again, want to thank you, Sean, for coming out, for being a great sport, not only on camera, but also off. You guys didn't see like 90% of this project. I took a while as well outside of this. I got yeah. called away by some guys at the store, so you've been very patient. Uh, just very appreciative, and uh, hopefully you're happy with uh, the money that you spent and the new rig overall. I am ecstatic. I can't say it enough. Thank you so much for for allowing me to even try and even do this. So awesome. well, again, thanks, Sean, so much. Really appreciate you. This is one awkward. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. bad. We'll end on a semi awkward note. Yeah, and uh, stick around for well, no more gear up episodes, but maybe some other something, some other video <laughs> later on. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. People are wondering what we're doing. Doing right here. Now. Yep. How's it going? It's all good. It's all good. Okay. All right. We're done. Okay. We're good. It. All right. <laughs> you know, it's always, it's always a bit sad walking away from a micro center for the, for the last time. And you know, we have to fly or drive good distances to get to any micro center from where we live in Central Florida. And even though the Miami one is coming. It is only going to be four hours away. That is still a healthy drive away. And if I wanted to take the Brightline train, that's still about four hours of travel. It's probably a good thing I don't live right next to one, but I am excited about the prospect of having more micro centers. I know they've been talking behind the scenes about opening even more stores. The reception's always great. The employees are fantastic. Just want to give Charlotte, uh, in particular, the Charlotte Micro Center, a huge shout for being super hospitable. Everyone was just so welcoming, so willing to not only just be on camera and talk, uh, but but also just making room for us. I mean, we literally took over half of the BYO section to film all the videos that we did this week. And my only lingering hope is that they will allow us to do this again. Maybe not at the same store, maybe at a different one. So if you guys liked watching these videos, be sure to give us that feedback whether by clicking the like button, subscribing, letting us know in the comment section below. This is all stuff that Micro Center themselves are gonna be watching as well. And uh, if we can do this for another season, it's gonna be because of all of you. So whether or not it comes to that, again, thank you so much for your support. And uh, now it's time to get back home. Whew, it's hot out there. <laughs>